Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lauren Lafonzina, and we're beginning this noon with breaking news. Evacuations have been ordered in a Mangonia Park neighborhood because of a chlorine leak. Chopper 5 is over the water treatment plant on Candlewood Street, just off of Australian Avenue near 45th Street. Captain Julie is standing by with the latest. So, CJ, what's going on? Well, Lauren, the concern right now is that uh, liquid, liquid chlorine in its liquid form can cause uh, freeze burn, which is why you can see these uh, fire rescue uh, uh, clad in protective gear so they do not get burnt by the chlorine. The other problem, which is what uh, has forced some evacuations here in the local neighborhood, is that when the liquid chlorine uh, evaporates, and it does so very quickly when it is leaking, it becomes a gas, and then that become, can become a respiratory irritant. The winds today are out of the north and the northeast, which is why they are actually evacuating a few houses, about a handful of houses, on the south side of this water treatment plant. Now, of course, fire rescue have to be very careful. They do measure the air to see how many parts per million are, are dispersed of the chlorine gas, and of course, they must have found a significant amount enough to be concerned about the local residents' health. Right now, it's just a very small area that they have evacuated. They've just now made entry into where they believe about a 150-gallon cylinder is leaking chlorine. So once they've been in there and done an initial assessment, we should know more about whether the residents can go back into the houses or whether they, in fact, have to evacuate a, mar a wider margin for errors. So uh, we will definitely stay on top of this story and keep you posted. Uh, I have not heard from the water treatment plant yet about the drinking conditions of the Mangonia Park uh, water, but certainly we will try and get some information on that and bring it to the local residents. That is the latest from Chopper 5. I'm Captain Julie.